Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. You're back, Chess. Can you follow me? As late courses on some bloggers while well, carrying fake news about her. According to a blog, in Yoruba Hollywood actress has claimed that a blogger earlier claimed that this married actress, Kemiya Falabi Adeshikwe, was fighting a friend because of an affair with an actor, Dauda Gida. And according to this blog, this was what this actress wrote to Kemiya Falabi. And the blogger said that Kemi claimed to be innocent and she's a married woman, but then fighting a friend over the Nollywood actor. That Kemi put a call through to this actor, the girlfriend picked, and then she insulted her. However, Kemi has come out to deny this and laid courses on this blogger because according to her, these are all fake news. And she says she's laying courses on bloggers who are fond of spreading false news about her, not just on this, but on several other occasions as well. Not just on this, but also on other news. And she said that enough is enough, faceless bloggers, your end is near. For every lie you told about me to gain traffic on your page, to enable you get advert placement. You shall lose everything you ever cherished in life, one after the other, except if your stories of me are fact. I ignore mostly because you're not accessible for now, and battling with you will be a waste of time and energy. And she also added that the gist got her be interesting to be true. And please don't tell me to ignore, because it's not your name that is being destroyed. Well, Kemi Afalabi has been happily married for years now, and she also has two lovely kids. And according to her, this can't be ignored because her name is being tainted. Kemi is happily married to Wale Adeshikwe, who is a UK-based man. And together, they celebrated their first daughter's birthday, Uluwa Darasimi Uluwa Tamilori Adeshikwe. The girl clocked 10 years old on August 8th. So who is Kemi Afolabi? Kemi Afolabi Adeshikwe was born on April 28th in 1978 in Lagos State. She does not care to hide her age. She's 42 years old. She attended Tunwa Shinojo Primary School to receive her primary education and also our Ladies of Apostle School and A to Z International School for her secondary school education. Later on, she attended the University of Lagos where she received her LLB Honors degree in law. When she was in her final year at Unilag, students from the Department of Creative Arts invited her to participate in their theater production. The show must have been a huge success because that was when Kemi decided that maybe law was not her calling. So she went into acting from there instead. The first movie she started in was the Yoruba movie Alagba. However, not very long after that, Kemi decided to take a break from acting. Even the industry for nearly five years, between 2008 and 2013, that said, it seems that break did not really have any negative impact on her career. While Kemi was away, she started writing movie scripts. So when she returned, she was ready to produce movies en masse. In 2016, I thought we recognized as the actress won the Best Yoruba Actress of the Year at the 2016 City People Movie Awards, as well as Most Prominent Actress at the 2016 Oudwa Image Awards. In addition to that, she also received the Best Yoruba Movie Producer of the Year Award at the City People Awards. Kemi has her own production company called Cass and D Entertainment. This actress has a lot of interest outside of her work. For instance, she loves cooking for her family as it brings immense joy to spend some quality time with her family. She also enjoys watching her home movies because this allows her to notice her mistakes, analyze them, and improve in time for the next movie. Kem is also a fashionista. You can spot her wearing designer clothes and accessories. She's particularly fond of Gucci. You might have noticed that for a very long time, Kem Afalabi chose not to share the details of her personal life with the public. People kept speculating about it until she finally came out to address this rumor. It turned out that she had long been married to her beauty from the UK. Wale Adeship, as mentioned earlier, Kemi is happily married and blessed with two lovely daughters. Kemi also revealed that her husband is an engineer and a building contractor. Wale Adeship is a graduate of Luton's University of Bedfordshire. He's also a very quiet person, which is probably why Kemi decided to hide him for so long. The couple met almost a decade ago in Ibadan, in Oyo State, at an engagement ceremony of one of Kemi's friends. They hit it off quite fast, and soon they were engaged as well. If you have been following the actress for quite a while, you might remember the time she left the industry for a while. That was when she had an engagement. Kemi and Wally had a small and quiet engagement ceremony in no quarter in Lagos State, which was held at the house of the actress's father. Not long after that, she found out that she was pregnant. 
So her husband took her to the UK to have their first child together. So about 10 years ago, Dara Simi, their first child was born. And around the same time, Kemi Afalabi wedding happened. But it was a very small family affair. So there were no pictures on that special event on social media. These days, this actress does not hide her family any longer. Not only has she added her husband's name on social media platforms, which is now Kemi Afolabi Adishikwe, but she has also been posting lovely family photos. Kemi admitted that the bond between her and her husband is incredibly strong, even despite all the controversies that come with a career and acting. Kemi Afolabi is a talented actress, devoted wife, and a wonderful mother. She loves doing what she does, but never forgets about her family. So why did she opt for a quiet wedding? It was recently that she disclosed why she opted for a secret wedding. And she said she decided to settle down with her man because she felt it was necessary for her to do so. This was what she told Golan Wadita that she wouldn't call it a secret wedding because she invited a number of people to attend the occasion and her parents and his own parents were in attendance. The reason is that she does not want a big party for herself. She herself and her husband decided to invite only very important people to grace the occasion. She didn't want a big party, so she didn't make so much noise. In 2019, she was reported that this actress was hospitalized in Makkah in Saudi Arabia where she had gone for her annual Hajj. She was said to have been rushed to the hospital after falling ill due to the stress associated with the Hajj exercise. The Nations reported that Kemi Afolabi was showing symptoms of illness while in Medina. She was seen sleeping on the bus during visitation to the historical sites. While Afolabi joined the other pilgrims to some of the sites at other sites, she sat on a bus. It was like that the eight-hour drive from Medina to Maka took a toll on her and Kemi Afolabi told the nation that she slept in the Maka Holy Mosque after the Umrah exercise to engage in some other act of worship and according to a medical practitioner attached to the Lagos State Muslim Pilgrims Welfare Board, Dr. Abidin Aru, Afalabi had symptoms such as fever, headache, loss of appetite and weakness. Although to the media and the entire public, Kemi was already pregnant with her second child, Nadia. So Kemi Afalabi welcomed her second child with her husband, Nadia, and together they celebrated but it was not until after 41 days that she posted this news on her social media platform. We have come to the end of this episode when Kemi Afolabi placed courses on Nigerian bloggers for posting fake news about her. We hope you enjoyed this episode and let us know two new things, subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.